Hello, my name is Jordan Bay, and I'm giving my topic presentation on why are there Buddhist, Buddhist statues in Muslim Pakistan? Um, to begin, I want to note that we are going to focus on a man named Ahsoka, what he did, and why it was important. Um, who is Ahsoka? The historian H.G. Wells described Ahsoka with this quote, Amidst the tens of thousands of names of monarchs that crowd the columns of history, the name of Ahsoka shines and shines almost alone, a star. I felt this was a great illustration of what he did for the history of India and Pakistan. Ahsoka is also referred to as Ahsoka the Great, and sometimes his name is written without the H. He ruled during the Maurya Empire, which ran from 322 to 180 BC, and he was the grandson of a former ruler who ruled in the same period of time. Um, he, he was an Indian prince named Chandragupta, and uh, Early on, uh, Ahsoka was seen as a very ruthless leader. Ahsoka began his rule by expanding throughout India by means of conquering. He killed thousands of people in order to acquire possession of their land. One particular battle was extremely brutal. It occurred in a village named, uh, named Kalinga. And legends say that Ahsoka and his army took the lives of over 100,000 people. It was because of this battle that Ahsoka experienced a dramatic change of heart um, that then pushed him to convert to Buddhism. Due to Ahsoka's transformation, there was a period of time that he took part in, um, uh, that India took part in Buddhism as part of the religious practice. Um, this is a major reason we see many Buddhist statues today. It was Ahsoka's desire to convey to India his new way of life, and this is where the rock pillars came into play, as you see in this picture here on the right. Ahsoka had rock pillars erected that rose about 50 feet in the air all throughout India. The pillars were inscribed with Buddhist messages from Ahsoka himself, and most of them had animals on top. For instance, the picture here had a sitting lion, which apparently indicates royalty and leadership in many cultures. And then as of today, only 19 of the pillars actually remain. Um, you might ask the question, why pillars? Why did Ahsoka feel the need to erect these tall statues to convey his conversion to the nation? Many people believe that Ahsoka used pillars to establish his message because it was already a commonly accepted art form in India. Um, and then ultimately it appears that Ahsoka's main goal was to encourage the people to live honorable and moral lives. Here are some other pictures of Ahsoka's pillars. You can see the writing that is etched into the pillar on the left, and then the intense amount of detail that went into the pillar on the right. And some more pictures of various pillars. Why is Ahsoka important? In the end, Ahsoka truly cared for his people, especially having experienced a change of heart. His goal was to inspire and encourage the nation to be good people. One of the points that many have made is that most of the inscriptions found on the pillars merely conveyed to the people the goodness of Buddhism and Ahsoka's desire to spread it. It appears that he was a student himself showing his own humilities. One of the edicts from his pillars say, um, Beloved of the gods, speak thus 12 years. After my coronation, I started to have Dhamma edicts written for the welfare and happiness of the people, and so that not transgressing them, they might grow in the Dhamma, thinking, how can the welfare and happiness of the people be secured? I give my attention to my relatives, to those dwelling far, so I can lead them to happiness, and then I act accordingly. I do the same for all groups. I have honored all religions with various honors, but I consider it best to meet with people personally. So he clearly had it, um, an intention to convey why he had such respect for Buddhism. In conclusion, I believe Ahsoka played a pivotal role in trying to establish a good and moral nation. He may not have been perfect in his execution, especially in his early days, but like many of us, he's experienced a conversion to goodness. He did his part to establish peace among the land. Um, I hope you have enjoyed my presentation. Please feel free to leave your comments. And once again, my name is Jordan Bay, and this has been a presentation on why there, on why there are Buddhist statues in Muslim Pakistan. Thank you.